I'm a mask up and take it, 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 mask up and take it. What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, the only mask channel that, I don't know, whatever. And in today's video we are doing something different than we usually do on the channel and that is a suit unboxing. That is right, rather than a mask unboxing we are actually unboxing a Slipknot jumpsuit. Now I do have a little bit of a Slipknot jumpsuit collection, I'll probably have to do an update on that in the future, but this jumpsuit is actually not going in the jumpsuit collection. The reason I got this, as you could probably tell from the title and the thumbnail, is for my bust series. But AJ, why'd you get a full suit? You'll just have to wait and see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box and take a look at what's inside. So I got this from my buddy Mike Covert. I'm sure that uh, most of you people are aware of Mike. I was just looking for the most authentic suit that I could possibly get. And I know that with Mike and Pat and Ian and all of them doing the Of The Sick tribute band that they would be able to at least point me in the right direction. Well, it turns out that they were able to have the dude that makes their actual jumpsuits make mine. So I know that it's going to be as authentic as possible. So, let's go ahead and pull it out of here and take a look at what we've got. Really? Nothing. Alright, so there appears to be a t-shirt and a jumpsuit, and there's also this thing that says Ghetto Note, so we'll go ahead and uh, open this up and take a look at what it's got. It says, yo, thanks for your purchase, man. We hope you enjoyed this suit, and it makes your Craig bust look tense. I threw in an Of The Six shirt as a gift, your size medium. Fuck yeah. Wish you could make it to our first show, but I understand it's quite a drive. Stay sick, and as always, I hate AJ Good. Matt and Pike. Matt and Pike. Wow. Mike and Pat of Of The Sick. Well, while I would love to make your first show, probably not going to happen due to the drive, but I'll gladly advertise that show here for people that are able to make it out. If you guys are able to make it out to that show, I would highly, highly suggest going and doing it. It's going to be the closest thing that you're going to get to 99-slash-2000-ish Slipknot. This tribute band sticks out amongst other tribute bands for the sole fact that they have put so much time and research and effort into this project, and they are hands down the most accurate Slipknot tribute band. You're not going to go there and see a bunch of different eras mixed together with a bunch of people that can't really play the music. You're going to get as close to the original Slipknot experience as possible, so go check them out if you can. And that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> so I guess first up we will uh, take a look at this of the six shirt, which I'm pretty fucking stoked on. Hell yeah, looks good. I dig it, for sure. I'm gonna wear that a lot. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the jumpsuit. Now, we didn't go with actual embroidery like the real suits, but what we did do was make the logos look embroidered. So this is going to be the closest thing that I'm gonna get without spending way too much fucking money. Covert did the designs on this, and he had his buddy print it out for me, and it looks fucking sick, and I cannot wait to get this on the bust. Now, you're probably still wondering to yourself why I have a full suit here and why we went ahead and did graphics on the suit and there's a reason for that so give me just a second one minute 37 seconds later now i've been dropping hints here and there that the craig is going to be the most special out of the bus series and there's a reason for that ever since i decided to go ahead and do this bus project i wanted craig's to be different not only because his helmet is so much larger than everyone else's because it's bigger than a human head plus you've got all the nails but he's number five so if you think about it he can still be dead set in the middle if you put him behind everyone but how would you put him behind everyone and still have him seen correctly well I've had this in my collection for years and years. I don't even remember where I got it. I think I bought it off of my old boss at the old tattoo shop that I worked at. And it's just never really had a real place in my collection. I've done Craig's on this before. I did like a weird Iowa Craig with a windbreaker. And hell, I think I actually put one of my youth helmets on it before, but uh, I think now is really its time to shine. So I went ahead and got the full suit made for it. We're just gonna tuck the sleeves behind it and tuck the uh, legs behind it. And we're gonna set a Craig up behind all the rest of the guys and I think it's gonna look really cool. So let's go ahead and jump on into that. And I just wanna see the final product. So we are going to zip through it. Let's go.
Alright, so we've got the suit on the mannequin, and I'm going to go ahead and show just the suit off, give you guys a nice little idea of the quality and just how it looks, and then we will go ahead and throw the Craig helmet on and put the bust where it needs to go. And like I said, I'm not going to be cutting this one up, I'm just going to be tucking the arms and legs behind. That way I don't ruin a perfectly good suit, and then if I ever decide to change these busts up, I'll still have this suit. Now you're probably wondering about certain things, like what about this neck? Well, I'm fairly confident that the Craig helmet is actually going to cover the ugly neck and sit over the collar. And I'm also not going to be adding a head to the inside of the Craig, because once it's on there, you're not going to be able to tell. Most of the time, especially in the later days, Craig wore black face paint underneath and you couldn't see anything, not even the white of his eyes so I don't think it's going to be a problem but yeah I'll go ahead and show this suit off real quick and then uh, we'll get around to completing the bust Alright, so here he is, and I know what you're thinking. AJ, why do you have a different shirt on? Why is your hair wet? And I'm gonna be honest, I really had to shit while I was doing the unboxing, so once I got the mannequin dressed up, I went ahead and went upstairs and shit, and that shit turned into a shower. It was a bad time. But here we have him. We've got him with the People Equal Shit banner right there. I'm probably gonna have to move that down just a little bit so it's a little more centered. But yeah, Crager is done. Looks fucking sick. Pretty much exactly what I wanted. As you can see, he's still number five. We've got him placed right between Clown and Jim. So we still have to get the Paul done, as well as the Corey. And uh, there'll probably be a little bit of moving around and centering and trying to figure everything out exactly. But for right now, this is what we've got, and I am definitely stoked with it. I don't know, I just think it looks good. I think that was the right move, and I've had that mannequin forever, just waiting for something to use it with, and I think that this is definitely that. So I'm super, super happy with it. And uh, another thing I wanted to point out is that some of these suits actually do need the barcodes on the chest. Others wore them so baggy, or the busts are just so short that you wouldn't be able to see the barcode, but a few of them do. So I'm going to have Mike do me some chest barcodes to add, like as temporary barcodes there on some of the other busts so I've heard a lot of complaints about that and initially I didn't think that any of them needed them because Sid and Joey were the first two and neither of those would need the barcode due to the suit but other people like Clown or Jim probably do need them so another thing you can see is that I've added the actual photo that I'm going off of right here dead center in the middle in front of Craig in between Clown and Jim and I just think that sets it off a little bit shows you exactly what I'm going for and I don't know I just think that's a super cool display who would have thought that less than a year ago when I started this uh, it would be this so far and uh, we're not even a year into it so I'll probably have this wrapped up in the next two months just got Paul and Corey left all right guys that is going to do it for this video I'm gonna leave you with some nice up close shots of this Craig and the bus in general and that'll be it for now huge shout out to Mike and of the sick for always hooking me up and treating me well I'm gonna drop all of their information down below that way you guys can go check them out if you haven't already and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video so until next time we'll see you later Perfect.